Hi, let's discuss about cyclic nucleotides. In this we will see cyclic AMP and cyclic GMP. First one is cyclic AMP. Cyclic AMP was first discovered as a mediator in hepatic glycogenolysis. That is cyclic AMP. Cyclic nucleotides mediate the effects of a variety of hormones and other biologically active agents. This is the structure for uh, structure of cyclic AMP. Then we will see formation and degradation of cyclic AMP. Chemically, cyclic AMP is 3 prime, 5 prime adenosine monophosphate. The phosphate, this is a phosphate group attached to the sugar molecule. That is 3 prime, 5 prime adenosine monophosphate. Next is cyclic AMP is synthesized in the tissues from ATP by the enzyme adenyl cyclase. By the enzyme adenyl cyclase. So cyclic AMP is synthesized in the tissues from, from ATP. By the enzyme adenyl, adenyl cyclase. This uh, enzyme needs the presence of Mg2 plus ions. Cyclic AMP is degraded in the tissues by its conversion to 5 prime AMP. Then the cyclic AMP is converted to 5 prime AMP in the tissues. This reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme phosphodiesterase. So cyclic AMP form, uh, for, uh, formation is from ATP, from ATP by the enzyme adenyl cyclase in the presence of Mg2 plus ions. Then cyclic AMP is then degraded in the tissues by its conversion to 5 prime AMP in a reaction catalyzed by the enzyme phosphodiesterase. Its main functions this is uh, the mediator of hormone action. This, uh, this is the mediator of hormone action. It acts as second messenger in the cell. It regulates glycogen metabolism. Uh, that is increasing cyclic AMP increases glycogenolysis. Then like, cyclic AMP regulates triglyceride metabolism. That is increased cyclic AMP produces lipolysis. Next is cyclic AMP inhibits cholesterol biosynthesis. Next function is cyclic AMP modulates both the transcription and the translation in protein biosynthesis. Next is cyclic AMP activates steroid biosynthesis. Decrease in cyclic AMP level is involved in the excitation of bitter taste receptors in tongue. It plays an important role in cell differentiation. So this is about the cyclic AMP, its structure, its formation and its function. Next we will see cyclic GMP. Cyclic GMP. Cyclic GMP is made from GTP. GTP to cyclic GMP by the enzyme guanylate cyclase. Guanylate cyclase. This enzyme is the presence of Mn2 plus. Cyclic GMP is hydrolyzed by cyclic nucleotide phosphodiesterase. Cyclic nucleotide phosphodiesterase. The cyclic GMP is produ produced, uh, formed from GTP by the enzyme guanylate cyclase. It needs Mn2 plus. Then this uh, cyclic GMP is hydrolyzed by cyclic nucleotide diphosphate, cyclic nucleotide phosphodiesterase to 5 prime AMP. The mechanism involved in the hydrolysis of cyclic GMP to 5 prime AMP is uh, this enzyme, cyclic nucleotide phosphodiesterase, this catalyzes the hydrolysis of cyclic GMP to 5' prime AMP. Mechanism is the enzyme is trimary, consists of three subunits, alpha, beta, and gamma. The cyclic nucleotide triphosphate, triphosphodiesterase is a, is a trimary. It consists of three subunits, alpha, beta, and gamma. In this, the gamma subunit is inhibitory and binding gamma subunit activates phosphodiesterase alpha and beta. 
this is this gamma subunit is inhibitory and it is binding to uh, the uh, this binding gamma subunit activates phosphodiesterase alpha and beta then this activated phosphodiesterase alpha and beta then catalyzes the hydrolysis of C, the cyclic GMP to 5 prime AMP. That is, the cyclic nucleotide phosphodiesterase uh, is a trimer consisting of um, three subunits alpha, beta, gamma. Gamma is inhibit, gamma subunit is inhibitory and binding gamma subunit activates the alpha, beta, that is phosphodiesterase alpha, beta. This uh, activated phosphodiesterase alpha, beta then catalyzes the hydrolysis of cyclic GMP to 5 prime AMP. Then we will see functions of cyclic GMP. Role of cyclic GMP in phosphorylation of proteins. In phosphorylation of proteins. Muscarinic action of acetyl choline on smooth muscles is mediated through cyclic GMP dependent phosphorylation. So that is the uh, role of cyclic GMP in phosphorylation of proteins. That is muscarinic action of acetyl choline on smooth muscles is mediated through cyclic GMP dependent phosphorylation. Next is for, uh, prostaglandin GF2 alpha. Prostaglandin GF2 alpha use cyclic GMP as second messenger for its actions. For this phosphoglandin, prostaglandin F2 alpha uses uh, cyclic GMP as a second messenger for its action. Next function is insulin action in certain tissues. Insulin. Insulin action in certain tissues is mediated through cyclic GMP. Then cyclic GMP acts as second messenger regulates um, acts as second messenger in regulating the opening and closing of sodium channels opening and closing of sodium channels so this is about the function of cyclic gmp this is about this is all about cyclic nucleotides thank you for watching